have a look at this question. Suppose in an economy, uh, inflation is equal to inflation in time period T is equal to inflation expected inflation in time period T plus 0 0.01 minus 0 0.2 UT. And expected inflation is following this rule 0 0.75 into inflation last period. PT is the rate of inflation. PTE is the expected rate of inflation in period T and UT is the unemployment rate. Right. Suppose in period one, the expectations regarding inflation are realized and the unemployment rate in the economy remains constant from period one onwards. So in period two, period three, period four, unemployment rate remains what it was in period one. What is the value of inflation rate in period three? If P0 is 0 0.128. So we are given with so we have PT equals to PET point to UT. But PT is equal to 0.75 PT minus. So PT equals to 0.75 PT minus 1 0 0.2 U. But expectation, I mean, period 1 expectations regarding inflation are realized. Right. So it means that P1 is equal to P1. Therefore, I can write P1 as P1E plus 0 0.01 minus 0.2U1. But because they are realized, U1. So you now calculate this U1 that will come out to be 0 0.05. Right? That will come out to be 0 0.05. Fair enough. Okay. Now, but what is P1? P1 is P1E plus 0 0.01 minus 0 0.2 u1 in place of u1 i can write 0 0.05 in place of p1e i can write 0 0.75 into p0 because p1 pte is 0 0.75 pt minus 1 so p1e is 0 0.75 p0 In place of P0, I can write 0 0.128. Mm -hmm. So this thing will come out to so P1 is this. Basically, this is this is going to get cancelled now. 0 0.2 into 0 0.05. That will be 0 0.01. That will be cancelled. So P1 is this. One thing is that P1 is this. Fair enough. Okay. P2 is what, beta? P2 is P2E plus 0 0.01 minus 0 0.2 into 0 0.05. By yet, the cancel. This will get canceled. P2E is 0 0.71 into P1. Yet, to cancel, ho na? this thing will get canceled. So that is what? 0 0.75 into P1. P1 was what? 0 0.75 into 0 0.128. Yeh tha. So basically what you have is 0 0.75 square 0 0.18. What is P3? So P1 was 0 0.75, 0 0.128. P2 is 0 0.75 square, 
zero point one two eight. T three would be same thing zero point seven five. I mean, T three is going to be what? Let me just write it. P three e plus zero point zero one minus zero point two into zero point zero five. This will cancel. What is P three e? 0.75 P2. What is P2? 0.75 square 0.128. So what is P3? 0.75 cube uh, 0.128. Huh? Like this. So P3 is this. Hmm? P3 is this. So what is the value of inflation in time period 3? P3 is uh, 0 0.75 cube into 0 0.128. Right. So what is going to be PT? You can generalize this. That will be 0 0.5 to the power T. 0 0.128. So as t tends to infinity, pt tends to 0. pt tends to 0. Fair enough. Huh? As t tends to infinity, pt tends to 0. Now for what value of inflation rate in period 0 will the inflation rate in the economy remains constant from period 2 onwards? Huh? Inflation rate in the economy will remain constant from period two onwards. So it doesn't change. Um, I think the best answer would be if you if you have P naught. Uh, for what value of inflation rate in period zero will the inflation rate in the economy remains constant in period two onwards? So if P naught is going to be zero, inflation rate will become zero, right? Uh, inflation rate will become constant in that case. So please write if P naught is equal to zero, then it will remain constant. Right. Inflation rate will remain constant in that case. So, I think I've answered it. So, if P0 is equal to 0, PT is 0 0.75, T is 0 0.128. So, in case if this thing is going to be 0, then, uh, of course, your inflation rate will also remain constant, whether it is P2, whether it is P3, or whatever it is. Right. Uh, so, hmm, that is going to be 0. So, P0, 0. That is the best I think I can answer. Okay, beta. Thank you very much. I hope uh, this was helpful to you. Thank you, beta.